graphene is strong, it's very thin, it's very conductive, but also graphene is network, it's connectivity, and graphene is here. This year at the Graphene Pavilion, we're showcasing technologies where they will shape the future of connectivity. The implication that this advanced material will have in one of our most used everyday devices to keep us connected, the mobile phone. Graphene can enable the phone of the future. You can imagine that the phone of the future needs to have incredibly much longer battery life, which graphene can enable. Graphene can also enable high-speed connectivity, 5G, 6G and beyond. This year's Graphene uh, Pavilion at the Mobile World Congress uh, focuses on the theme of connectivity. We have many different aspects going from very fast optical communications to uh, different kinds of mobile phone technologies, covering the entire scheme uh, to uh, Internet of Things. And this is a section of wearables, devices that are key enablers of a hyper-connected society. Devices that can monitor and measure our well-being, our health, and our environment. Here in the wearable zone of the Griffin Pavilion, we are showing how a wearable can increase our connectivity to the mobile and devices and enable to have much more functionalities in our devices and to understand much better how humans are interacting with the environment as well. It's good to be back in the Mobile World Congress. Especially nice to see the development in the past years from being in the materials uh, showing what the graphene is towards what kind of components we can make out of graphene and now talk about uh, applications. It's so fascinating. This is really the future we want to live. I mean, uh, I think graphene is really transforming our life. Let's see what are the implications of graphene in our homes. How graphene technologies could lead to smarter secure and sustainable living spaces. The home of the future with the, within the Graphene Pavilion this year is about showing what graphene can do for us in the next future in our homes. Devices, sensors, like we'll have uh, walls that will become speakers, uh, sensor telling us about the toxicity in the air, and so everything will be helped by the use of graphene, which today is not so common, but it will become an, a common object in our homes. I think graphene is very important because it brings a lot of new possibilities to the future to uh, blend with composite materials, new applications for high efficiency and also to uh, create new possibilities for both industry and consumption. We see a wonderful development where every year there's more focus on those technologies that have, let's say, the most promise, that are the most concrete that show the most clear advantages of graphene as compared to other technologies. All these technologies require a reliable supply chain that can provide high volumes and consistent quality of graphene material. Often people believe that graphene is expensive, difficult to make. This was the case maybe 10 years ago or five years ago, but it's not the case anymore. It's very interesting to see that we uh, have come a long way when it comes to graphene production. Here we have graphite from a mine in Europe. Uh, we have producers that uh, produce graphene flakes. We also have producers that produce high quality uh, graphene for very fast electronics applications and optoelectronics applications. So it's by and large one can say that the uh, graphene production is a solved issue now.